everyone and welcome to the Bright Burn YouTube Academy. Now this is a new playlist inside of my YouTube channel, James Salazar Media. Now, um, we're using this playlist to focus in on mindsets and modalities and principles and value systems and belief systems that be, could be holding you back and maybe adopting some that can propel you forward. And right now we're going to start a new series. And I've done this series on my podcast, uh, the James Salazar Media Podcast. Um, it's called What You Can't and Can Control or What You Can and Can't Control. And the very first part of this, I just, we need to go into really quick because so many people focus on what they can't control. People are frozen in time. People are tripped up. People are stuck in their mind because of some offense or because of some event uh, that happened so many years ago that they couldn't have changed because it wasn't in their control. And they're focusing on it like they can control it, even today. But they can't control it. They can't control the past. The past is said and done. Some people are just focusing on what other people are doing. You can't control what other people are doing. It's such a waste of time. It's such an energy sucker and a time waster. And you can't get that time. The most valuable thing we have is time. The most valuable product we have is time. And it dwindles away every second of the day. But there's so much. There is so much that is in our control that we can change about ourselves and our lives. There is a plethora of things you could be working on that is in your ability to change, to augment, to adapt. But if you're focusing on what you can't control, you'll never get to the things you can control. And it is a trap by some enemy that you have set for yourself to have you focus on things that will not propel you forward. But, have you, but we would have you rather focus on the things you can't control. There's so many things that are in your control that will take a lifetime to perfect. A lifetime to perfect. But you're still focusing on the things you can't control. So what we're going to endeavor to do in this series called What You Can and Can't Control we're going to talk about the things you can control and how to better utilize, fix, adopt, adapt whatever that is in your control to do. I mean, you can control your optimism. You can control, I mean, I don't want to get into it because I want to save them for the series, but there's so much in your life that is in your control that you can change that it should take up all your time where you don't have to worry focus on dwell on what you can't control hey guys just want to stop really quick and tell you to subscribe to my youtube page put the notification bell also i got some free stuff for you go to um what is it right there Right there, I got a free ebook for you right there. Uh, you can check out my coaching services right here at James Salazar Media right now, or you can join the Bright Burn Facebook group where we maximize your illumination. Come and join that, that for free. If you want to be around people with like minded ideas, I have links in the show notes all there. Thank you for your time, and once again, subscribe and follow. 
And don't forget the James Salazar Media Podcast. See you later, guys. It's super important. I can't tell you how much people waste their mind and time on things they can't control. Things that will never change. You can only change yourself. You can only make the changes in you. It is a trap to expect the world to change for you and for you to stay the same. Right? That's unrealistic. If you want change in the world, it has to start with you. You got to be the first change. The first link in the chain to make that change. To inspire others. If you're unwilling to make the changes in yourself, then you're truly unwilling to make changes in the world. You're trying to look for a shortcut and there is no shortcuts in life. You can't start at the top and work your way up. You got to work from the bottom and work your way up. But that's the journey. That's the education. That's that's where the uh, good part of life, life is, is when you begin to learn and understand and change the things you can control and realize the things that you can't control are beyond your ability and they never were in your ability to change. It was an unrealistic expectation you were holding, holding for yourself, which is unfair to yourself. And it is blinding from the real changes you need to make in your life, which I'm sure there's a lot of. There's a lot of, for me, there's definitely a lot of changes I need to go through every single day. Disciplines I need to work on every single day. And it will be an unending task until the day I die. But that's what it means to be human, to constantly work on yourself and be better one, be better the next day than you were before. Then you're making progress. So as we get into the series, I will start to list what is in your control. And you will begin to, you begin to hear it and make those changes. Maybe some of them, you got them nailed down. And maybe others, you need to work on. And even the ones you think you got nailed down, there's room for improvement. Like I'm saying. There's so much you can work on that even every little aspects of your life that you need to work on, they can take a whole lifetime to perfect and change. Instead of working on something that you cannot change, it's not in your ability to change things that are not in your control. So I'm excited about this course. I hope you're excited about this course. Follow, press what is it? YouTube, press the notification button. And follow and you'll get my next post starting next week. What you can and can't control. So this is me signing out of the Brightburn, the Brightburn YouTube Academy. Here we are. We out.